packing for a trip where I'll be flying and also may get a chance to do some astrophotography is always a difficult challenge for me because I like having lots of options and backups for everything. So it's hard for me to pare it down and still have room for clothes or anything else that I might have to bring on a trip or vacation. Uh, my system though is to bring everything valuable like cameras, lenses, trackers, and so on in my carry-on luggage and anything else that won't fit or is easily replaceable like a tripod or clothes or toiletries in my checked bag. Uh, but in this video, I just wanna show you what I keep in my carry-on luggage, which is this guy. It's the Pelican 1510, which is the largest rolling case that Pelican makes that will fit in the overhead compartment as a carry-on bag. Inside the case, I opted for the Pelican's Trek Pack dividers, which I believe are the most expensive option, but I love them. They're more durable than the pick and pluck foam, which I can't stand for some reason. And they also take up less room than the typical padded uh, Velcro dividers that I sometimes use. Um, the best thing about them is that you can cut and design them however you want. Um, and they come with these little pins that makes uh, putting them back together into different configurations really easy. Exactly what I bring is a little bit different for each trip, but here's what I'm bringing this time on my trip to Wisconsin. I have two cameras here. Uh, this top one is actually a stand-in for the Canon EOS RA, which I'm filming with right now. I also have a backup camera. This is a modified Canon T7. Underneath the cameras in these compartments, I have a case for my SD cards. And a manual air blower, which is always handy to have. Up here in this top corner, I have a bunch of stuff. I have a lot of batteries. Uh, I have holders for things. I have intervalometers, all kinds of little accessories. Um, lots of backups of different accessories that might fail. Uh, down in this little compartment, I have a 3D printed Badenov mask, I have some electrical tape, and I have a little uh, gray card slash color chart that I always just have with me just in case I need it. Here are the lenses I'm bringing. Again, this is something that changes every time depending on what I hope to shoot on the trip. But on this trip, I have the Canon RF 85 that I rented for a week just for this trip. A uh, Rokinon 135 and a Sigma 40 millimeter. Below the lenses, I have a little Petzl headlamp. Uh, I've had this for a long time, works well. And then finally over here, last thing, I have my full Skywatcher Star Adventure, including the counterweight and the counterweight shaft and the declination bracket and everything. It all fits fine. Um, the last thing, so basically I have everything that I need here except for one thing, which is the tripod. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this goes into my checked bag because uh, it's too big to fit in here. If I really wanted to go light, I could maybe get like one of those travel tripods that could fit in like my second carry-on bag. But I like having the full size uh, tripod. I'm using an iFootage carbon fiber one. And uh, so I just put this into my checked bag and wrap my clothes around it and that works well. And the, the, again, the strategy here of putting all of this in this carry-on bag is this is all stuff I don't want to replace. So I want it securely with me. I don't want it to end up lost somehow. Um, so what am I missing? You, you, you can tell me in the comments. You know, sometimes I bring a laptop, but honestly, a lot of times I bring it and then end up not using it. Um, because on a vacation or a trip, I'm not gonna process my photos until I get home. And yeah, if I brought a computer of some kind, I could then use an auto guider and all of this other stuff and I could dither and possibly get better data. The thing is though, my strategy here is to have backups for all the important things and have not such a complex setup that there's possible points of failure where I'm not gonna have all of the stuff I have at home to fill in. Uh, and if so, if I'm out for a week without any stores, I'd rather have as, as much stuff in backup as possible and keep it as simple as possible. So that's my strategy with packing for a trip like this one. Hope it made sense. Um, this has been a five minute Friday. Uh, next week I'm gonna be in Wisconsin, but I'll, I'll be back uh, for the next five minute Friday, hopefully next week. Till then, this has been Nico Carver, nebulaphotos.com, clear skies.